Hello guys, I'm going to share with you some tips to clear floor 11 from chamber 1 all the way to the last one. So, for the first half of chamber 1, you need to focus your attention on the villagers holding the club. They will be the one focusing their attention on the monolith, as you can see. But, the archer will be focusing on you. So, if you can, try your best to uh, let them shoot away from the monolith. Otherwise, it's still fine. It's not too much damage. The second wave, you want to focus your attention on the colored villagers. They are the ones who go and throw some slimes on the metal leaf, and you don't want that. If you can, don't do what I did. Try to use the sword user charge attack to knock them back towards the other colored villagers. Otherwise, that's it. You can use this opportunity to restore your burst if you still have some lingering survivors. Coming to the last wave, the only First, uh, mobs that want to target the monolith is the big villagers right here. But if you do enough damage, you will focus its attention on you, so there's nothing to worry about. With that, that's it for chamber 1 first half. Now we come to chamber 1 second half. The first wave that we will be dealing with is a bunch of thieves. Your attention want to focus on the big guy. He will be the one focusing on the monolith. Now doing so will trigger his royal fans to attack you, but that is okay. But try your best to stay away from the monolith. Otherwise they're going to throw your potion and accidentally hit it. Now if you have animal characters, you can use it to knock him back. Otherwise you can consider a freeze calm or a overload to make sure he don't attack the monolith at all. After you're done with him, go away from the monolith so that the potion don't accidentally hit the monolith while you're attacking it. It did happen to me at first few rounds so uh, this is what I noticed. Now with that, that's it for this wave. Now let's move forward to the next wave. Now for this second wave, focus your attention on the archers. They are more interested in the monolith than anything else. Um, after doing certain damage, they also get pissed at you and they also want to focus at you. But after that, that's basically it. This wave, everyone will just focus on you. So just take your time to kill them. Uh, don't have to rush, there's no time limit. So with that said, let's move forward to the next wave as well. Now coming to the last wave, you want to focus on the potion here, right here, this guy. And the purple suit guy too. They will be the one throwing a bunch of shit on the monolith. But that's okay. Focus your attention, mapping them out. Well, after focusing your attention on the potion here, you are basically done. And the rest of the things that's left is for you to don't stay close to the monolith and slowly kill them off. So let us move head over to the next chamber, shall we? Now for this chamber, I want, I want to focus on the position that you should be at. So for now, this side will consider the downside of the abyss. While the other side with the staircase is the outside of the abyss. Now you'll be dealing with Pyro Slime first, so you can wait for them to charge up and get a bit angsty, then move back to lure them closer to the downside. Now, of course the final boss will be spawning at the downside, so it's better to just stay at the downside as much as you can. So since we are doing with Pyro Slime, use any other elements to deal with it. Uh, electro elements is perfect for this situation because every single slime is going to react to it. But a pyro character is perfect as then you just need to bring other characters to react against the pyro characters and you'll be fine. Now after you're done with the pyro slime, you can do the same trick for the hydro slime as you did to the pyro slime. And the reason why we're doing this is because like if you have characters like Xiangling, a burst might uh, be able to span off Solidify for the next wave. Then you will be able to have some residual burst just in time to attack the big lava show. And that's it for the first half. Now for the second half, uh, we'll be doing with a bunch of Noburagis. Those straw has summarized. The first wave is decent, don't have to worry too much. Let them come towards you. They have excellent speed anyway. Now, so doing this, we'll be able to be closer to the second wave. Um, let me just blast this through. This is all about your team trying to do damage. 
So now let's just head over to the next wave, then you'll be able to see it. And once it's done, you can, so you can see the next wave spawn right immediately. Now you have a few options, you can stay here and destroy them like what you did just now. Or you can attack them and slowly move yourself towards the upside. Where the final wave will spawn, which is the armor samurai. Now dealing with the Karagi is the same thing but you have to focus on both of them at the same time. If you happen to let one survive, the other one will have a super insane mob buff. Which is still fine because we got quite some time before it. But depends on the situation, you have to prioritize on that strategy. And with that, then I'll just move on to the last chamber. For the first half, we'll be doing with the aquatic circus. Now the first wave we'll be dealing with a bunch of balloons. Ideally, you want to stay as close to the upside. Doing this way, you'll be able to deal with the second wave of the aquatic zoo much easier. You'll see in a sec. So, once you are closer to the outside, all the bunch of the specters will be gathered around. Do your damage and you have to chase them quite a bit because they do fly away. And then that, now let's head over to the next wave. As you can see, the, the hydro animals start spawning. The hydro bird is the one with the lowest mobility. So staying at the outside keeps you closer to her or it so you can defeat them. You want to keep closer to the Hydro Crane. It's one of the only Hydro animals here that don't really move too much. So if, as long as you have a character that bursts with a huge AoE, you'll be able to hit the rest of the crews eventually. Witness my great undertaking. And with that, that's actually it. Then I'll just move on to the next half. Now this one isn't actually too bad, all the, we'll be doing with all the new runes toy. All of them are grouped quite closely packed together. Uh, the trick here is to not really get too close to the the triangle shape rune god, which is the rune cruiser, in case you didn't know. And doing so will prevent it from actually going uh, doing a back step. But if you can clear it fast enough, the same thing still apply, they will all die off. So, uh, with that said, that's it for floor 11 chamber 3. And hope this has some use to you guys and I shall see you guys next time.